Hey, this is JC here. JC's Comics More, your pop culture superstore. 6725 West Central Avenue, it's Toledo, Ohio. 4361741531609. JC's Comics More at Hotmail. JC's Comics More on Instagram. Find the Facebook link in the description below. This is video 1501. If you've not checked out video 1500, it's about uh, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Check it out. We got the rest of the Diamond Comics, and I got some reorders, including a whole crap load of Punisher and Venoms. Here we have, uh, this is Venom. Uh, Rex, this is Volume 1 of the Donnie Cates. We got the Extreme Carnage trade. We've got Venom, the Nativity, from the, the Costa. This is Volume 4. This is Venom First Toast. This was a mini-series. We've got the Absolute Carnage trade. A lot of the stuff I've not had in stock in a while by Danny Cates. Here we've got Recursion. This is Volume 1 of the current run of Venom. Venom Lethal Protector, David Michelini and Mark Bagley. This is what kind of started it all as far as his mini-series and stuff like that. Uh, Ron Lim did some of the artwork in this as well. Again, great stuff. Uh, Mark wasn't able to complete it, but you had Ron Lim come in. Good enough for me, man. Venom Beyond. This is Donnie Cates. This is Volume 5. Venom Carnage. These things sell for me. I've probably sold since these things have come out. 50, 60 copies. Venom Unleashed, Volume 1. Um, this was a collecting web of Venom, Venom Born, so a lot of different things uh, was collected there. Carnage USA. We've got Venom King and Black, Volume 6. The Punisher, this is the Max co uh, Comics run. This is Volume 1. By, with Garth Ennis. Let me see if this here. Trying to think when what book it was. It's probably not with these. It's not going to be when I found it. There's just to show you just some of the great stuff that that Ennis was doing. They got Punisher presents Barracuda. There's no heart. And again, Garth Ennis. Enough said, right? Bring Garth Ennis back to Punisher. But in the meantime, we've got this great Punisher miniseries that's running right now. This is the Book of Killers, Book 1. This is Issues 1 through 6 of the Jason Aaron run. If you're not reading this run of Punisher, get on board now. Punisher Complete Collection, Volume 2 from Marvel Knights. Again, Garth Ennis is involved with this. And then Punisher versus the Marvel Universe. This has... A lot of different, a lot of different things in here. Marvel Universe versus the Punisher. Again, great stuff to check out. Now, and then also finally, I got two more copies of Aliens: The Illustrated Story by Archie Goodwin and Watt Simonson. This came out like right before the movie came out. I saw, looked at this at a B Dalton's back in the day at the at the uh, Southwick Mall. And this artwork just blew me away and just the story concept of this thing. Seeing that right there, the chest burster, I was on board. Let's go over here to uh, what else has come out. And can't really make it out. Listen to some Jesus Christ pose in the back by uh, Soundgarden. We got these back in stock, the Art of Metal. This hardcover here. Forth by Lemmy. All kinds of great. Look, there's Cannibal Corpse. Thrash and Death Metal. Unfortunately, there's no Lamb. There's no Devil Driver in here, so it says it was updated, but not updated quite good enough. You got Papa Roach in there. You got the Biscuit. You got the Deftones. You got Ghost. Ghost is in here, but no, uh, no Driving the Devil, man. Black Sabbath, Doom, Stoner Metal, Steel Panther, L.A. Guns, Warrant Chapel. You've got Guns of Roses, Def Leppard, Kiss, Lita Ford. 
stuff on Kerrang! magazines, Grim Reaper, Tigers of Pantane. You got Maiden, of course you're going to have Maiden. Eddie, Eddie the Aggressor, Edmund the Aggressor, there's Motorhead, Mr. Lemmy, God. There's more Maiden, ACDC, Love Gun, there's Blue Oyster Cult. Just saw them Thursday in Waukegan, uh, Illinois, they still have it. My favorite band, absolutely. Got Scorpions. More Black Sabbath. Deep Purple. Got Grateful Dead. Look, there he is. Lemmy. Mr. Kyle Meister himself. Rest in peace. Now, got the new issue of Heavy Metal, issue 320. Got Tarna on that cover there. And that's a wraparound cover. Wow, just notice that. And then you've got that cover of Heavy Metal. Not a wrapper on cover. Got the new issue of Retro Fan. Got the new Alter Ego special issue on Neil Adams, including never before seen Neil Adams artwork in here. Covers that Neil did, just the great work that he was involved in. I'm looking forward to reading my copy of this. Now, Diamond stuff. All against all, number five of five, the last issue. Cover A, cover B. The Ambassadors, issue two, from Mark Millar. Uh, did you guys read the issue one? What did you think? Let me know in the comments below. Inquiring minds want to know. That's cover B. There is a C. There is the Assassin's Apprentice. I believe both of these are spoken for if... I remember correctly. This is issue number five. Barbaric number three. Hell to pay. Finally. Uh, do I still have people out there that like Barbaric? Let me know in the comments below. If I'm supposed to pull a copy for you, let me know. I've, I have, no pun intended, I have sliced my orders back. Not selling like it used to be. Not quite the, the hot book that everybody wanted. Maybe it's run its course. Cover B, Black Cloak, issue four. Briar, number four. Children of the Black Sun, number four. What's a trend going on here? It's cover A that I believe is a takeoff on X-Men, number 50 with Polaris. And I believe that's cover C. That is cover C. That was. Here we've got Cinderella from Xenoscope. We haven't had many uh, Xenoscope comics in a while. Cover A, Cinderella versus the Queen of Hearts. A, B, she's got the cheese. You take the cheese from the, from the rat, he gets mad. It's a pretty cool cover. Almost reminds me of Mark Texiera. That's the C cover. There is the D cover. Look at those guns. Man, I don't want them going off on me. Clear by Scott Snyder. Number two, cover A, the foil cover B, there is the cover C. Dark Ride, number five. I think this might be the last issue of this series. A, B, and C. Double Nightfall feature, number three. Look, giant spiders. Yeah, give you some creeps there, right? Eight billion genies, eight of eight. Cover A and cover B with dinosaurs. Actually, he's on his tail, so he's like Godzilla in that movie, right? Versus King Kong, and he's riding his tail. And after end number six, uh, Exorcist Never Die, number one from Mad Cave. Frank Frazetta's Tales of Science Fantasy. That's not a Frank Frazetta cover. This is a Frank Frazetta cover. Where was this cover originally found on? Where was this, where was this artwork originally found on? In the comments below, put where you think it was found from. It's a very most unusual place that this artwork showed up on. Most unusual. That's a 1 in 5 blank cover. There's a 1 in 10 beautiful looking cover there. Look at him. He's got them forearms. He's ready for some four. Let's uh, play. Move on to the uh, next. The giant. Was it uh, Kuju? Uh, this looks like a fun book. I'm going to look forward to reading that. 
Got a couple of different covers there, almost uh, uh, like the Cloverfield. The gimmick number two, Go Digger 297. What a large number! How can that be possible? People don't like large numbers. The Great British Bump Off. Curious about this. Is it like killing British people? For A, B, and the C. Maybe you're not supposed to eat that kind of birthday cake. I know this is a Marvel, but I ordered the second printing of Hallow's Eve number one from Diamond. So I only ordered a couple copies of this second printing. Hexware number five. Cover A, cover B, and you got a C. I know Mr. Jeff and Julie are going to be getting themselves some Hexware. We're going to pause and grab the next stack. Okay, from Blood Moon Comics. Hone of or or Orcus issue one. I think I know who this is for, but again, just just confirm it in the comments below. Thank you very much. 007 James Bond 007 for King and Country. This is a rare non Red Sonia Dawn Vampirella sexy girl cover for Joe Lindsner. It's got the skulls and well, I guess it does have the sexy girl too. So, hard to get away from that, but look, we've got 007 there, and we have that cover as well. I know a couple of people, 007 people, Lindsner fans are going to want that cover. I didn't mind buy many of them, but let me know. Know your station number five. Man, a lot of fours and fives, and there's another four. Uh, Chroma number four. Looks like uh, that with alligator that uh, bit uh, from... Uh, from um, uh, Peter Pan there, but that is the cover B. Legend Fell number one from American Mythology Productions. Cover A, B, and C. Little Monsters number twelve. Jeff Lamar and Dustin Wynn. Cover A and B. And I know the A cover goes to the guy that likes uh that uh, Camelot, that uh, King Arthur book that, that came out. Uh, Mad Balls vs. Garbage Pale Kids. Time and Slime again, number three. Cover A, B, right? And the only C I have. Look at that. Here we've got Maniac of New York. Don't call it a comeback. Don't call it a comeback. Number two. Master of the Universe. Masterverse, number three. Cover A, B, and there's a C for you. Pretty looking covers. What do you guys think of this? How have you been liking this? Uh, hopefully everybody's been enjoying this book. Nemesis Reloaded. This is issue four. Another four. It's a violent, 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 violent book. Somebody's got uh, uh, some sort of um, daddy issues or something that they work out in this book here. That's a B, and there's a C. Maybe there was... Was not paddled enough. Didn't get to switch enough as a kid. Issue 13 of Nocturna. Uh, again, let me know. Cover A. Cover B. There is the C. Can't remember. I think these um, might be tiered variants. They might not be. Here we have, what, uh, Pack, Pack Hills. Let's see. Issue number 6. Um, Packless from Image. I forgot all about this book. Phantom Road number two, another Jeffrey Lemire book right there. Cover A. There is the B on that. Almost looks like some sort of crazy uh, Triceratops. Radiant Black number 23. From Image. Red Zone number two of four from AWA. The Seasons Have Teeth from Boom Studios. I'm interested. Uh, this cover intrigues me. Uh, that cover doesn't intrigue me quite as much as cover A, though. Space Job, number three of four. Spawn, 340. See? Large numbers do happen. Uh, good for you, Todd, keeping them large numbers going. Looks like uh, looks like it may be supposed to be like oh, some old Green Lantern guy or something. That is the B cover. Star Trek number six, cover A, cover B. I know the kitty, the kitty man's going to want that cover. So 
that he's not back to work yet. But I'll make sure the kitty man gets his cover for his data, data, potato eater. But he might like that data, data cover instead. Uh, look, data again, man. It's it's uh, AI is taking over. Uh, Star Trek Defiant number two, cover A, cover B. Uh, Stone Heart number two from Image. Stuff of Nightmares. This is the Stuff of Nightmares trade from uh, R.L. Stein. Here we've got Jim Ballon's Tarot, Witch of the Black Grove, number 131. It's a special cover with... Yeah, make sure I do this right. The special naughty, naughty, naughty print on the back. Naughty, naughty, naughty. You'd be at a loss if you missed that one. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and Usagi Ujumbo, number one. Winwear. This is a wraparound cover by Stan Sakai. Very, very, very cool. And then we've got a cover by Kevin Eastman that I would say is also a... Nope, and that is not a wraparound cover. He made a liar out of me. But there's the Kevin Eastman cover. There's the one in 10. And then we do have a couple of the blank covers. Traveling to the Mars, number five. Another number five. I think this is cover... A, and it was, and I think this is cover D, and it is, and I'm getting the cover B in for somebody. Two Graves, number six, West of Sundown, number 10, from Vault, we got White Savior, number four of four, from Dark Horse, World, was it World uh, Turn Turn 8, World something, something like that, I'm not going to butcher it, but new from Image. Issue one, and that's B. There is C, so I'm gonna try to read this, interest it with this. Uh, and then finally, was it uh, Ziltoid, the Opta, Opta uh, Senate uh, from Opus, another rock book, but I think this is a funny one. He almost looks like a predator alien. Those are the one in fives on that. If you like these videos, as always, be sure to please, please subscribe to the channel. Please hit that bell for notifications. It's interesting. Dream Theater. I've got, uh, there's a Dream Theater and show in Toledo here back in uh, 93. I've got very, very fond memories. Met somebody very, uh, very special to me at that show. Got Queensryche. So you got Uriah Heep. I've had somebody tell me I look like a dude from right Uriah Heep. And that's, uh, but again, if you do like these videos, subscribe to the channel. We're almost at 2,000, almost. And hit that bell for notification, like, comment, and share. Thanks again.